Do you use Darktable to edit your raw photos? Here are seven tips to make your editing even better. Tip number one, use the light bulb. Clicking on the light bulb icon puts your image in a frame. During my editing, I often use this because it's much easier to see composition and effects when the image is isolated from the rest of the darkroom interface. Often, seeing my photo in a frame has caused me to readjust my crop or tone curve. Tip number two, right-click on the multiple instance action icon to create a new instance. This is very useful, for example, if you want to apply one tone curve to the general image and another to a local part, such as the sky in a landscape. Tip number three. Following up on tip number two, if you have two instances of a module, you can also add a custom name to them to keep them organized. For example, if you're using one tone curve for the general shot and another one to brighten a catch light, you can name the second one catch light. Tip number four. Select the right kind of demosaicing, LMMSE or Amaze. Check out my other video to see the advantages of LMMSE, but basically, this demosaicing method handles fine detail much better and reduces the chances of false color. Tip number five, create a custom list of modules that you use. If you're like me, you don't use every module in Darktable. Once you've figured out which ones you like to use, click on the module menu and go to manage presets. Then select preset modules all and click duplicate. Now, name your personal collection of modules to be anything you like. Inside this collection of modules, you can just remove any ones you don't use so that they won't show up when you're editing in Darktable. Tip number six, you can filter your collection of photos in Lightroom view by aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Aside from filtering by stars, you can filter by these extra variables. For example, if I click ISO, I can show only the images with ISO 1600 or more by selecting a portion of this visual graph. Tip number seven, snapshots. Once you are finished editing, click on an earlier stage of the history stack and click on take snapshot. It helps if you crop your image first and then click on crop. Then go to the final stage of your history stack and click on the snapshot that was just created. This will give you a before and after slider that will give you insights into how good your editing was. And finally, a bonus tip. If you don't like the new user interface transitions in Darktable where the expansion of modules is animated, go to settings, miscellaneous, and change the duration of the UI transitions in milliseconds to zero. Those are all the tips. I hope they helped you and happy editing in Darktable.